doing this for some sort of charity, some kind of cure. M many people do these runs for the cure for cancer, or as Rick Hansen did the wheel around the world for spinal cord research. I said, I'm not doing it for any cure. I'm not doing it for any particular charity. And then all of a sudden, I had an idea. I went, I'm going to do this to bring awareness to the number one disease in North America. This is affecting many people, all ages. It's costing our society millions of dollars. And you might say, well, what is that? Well, that happens to be procrastination. Procrastination happens to be the number one disease in North America. Now, what are some of the symptoms? You may have heard of these before. Have any of you ever heard people say, I'm waiting until? Have any of you heard that? <laughs> or, or what about someday? Someday? Have you... No, no, not you people, but yeah. Oh, thanks, Jack. Well, there I am on my bike, heading across this long stretch of highway, and I came across this farmer. Well, he looks at me, he can't believe it. I'm on the middle of the prairie driving my bike. So he stops and he came over and he said, Where are you going? I said, Heading up to the Yellowhead, I hope it's up here somewhere. You see, I'm just, just not very far ahead. And then he said, well, where are you from? Well, I'm from Victoria. And then he said, someday. Well, I'm going, this is the perfect segue <laughs> for my bringing awareness to this disease. I said, someday what? Someday, I'd like to take my wife to Victoria for our wedding anniversary. Oh, and I went, fantastic. Now, you're going to find this hard to believe, but he actually had a calendar in his pocket. A date timer or something. I said, when, when's that? He's April 27th. So the key is you mark down the date. Do I get, them, get the date out? And, well, well, where am I staying? Stay at the Royal Scott. A lot of them. People come from the prairies and stay at the Royal Scott. Okay, I got all of that. And then he invited me in for dinner. And when we went in for dinner, I announced to the whole family, husband is taking the wife to Victoria for the wedding anniversary. Now that's one of the key things to overcome procrastination, is make an announcement. <laughs> the kids said, well, that's in the middle of caffeine season. Well, I guess you'll just have to get the bulls to procrastinate. <laughs> it's the only thing I can figure. Now, the interesting thing is that Toastmasters happens to be one of the ideal vehicles to help you overcome procrastination. Like, if you have procrastination in some aspect of your life, believe it or not, Toastmasters happens to be the antidote, the cure, the needle that helps you overcome procrastination. Why? Because it helps you set a major definite purpose. I was talking to Roger. Roger said he's got the manuals for his bronze, silver, and gold already figured out. Is that correct, Roger? <laughs> and that's a major definite purpose. He's planned that out. Toastmasters gives that. Now, the interesting thing is, in Charles Garfield's book, Characteristics of high-level performers. He said if you develop the characteristics of high-level performers in one area, it's transferable. That's amazing. You have the opportunity in Toastmasters to transfer these skills. And one of the key elements that we know for sure is having a positive mental attitude. Now, Toastmasters gives you that with preparing your presentation getting your evaluation, but supporting the other people within the club. In Brian Tracy's book on overcoming procrastination, he talks about the eating the frog. <laughs> he, and I'm going to give you an exact quote out of, 
out of Brian Tracy's book. An average person who develops the habit of setting clear priorities and getting important tasks completed quickly will run circles around a genius who talks a lot and makes wonderful plans and gets very little done. Then he goes on, it's been said for many years that if the first thing you do each morning is to eat a live frog, you can go through the rest of the day with the satisfaction of knowing that is probably the worst thing that's going to happen to you all day. <laughs> now, how does that apply to you? How does that apply to Toastmasters? If you have a clear picture of the speech that you're going to give, the evaluation that you're going to give, take time to prepare it now. See what you're going to do and prepare it now. Toastmasters is the clear way to overcome procrastination.